into the depths. I'm so tiny. In one of my runs, I picked up that many pills that made me tiny. I literally could not see myself. Shit. I was relying on my familiars, because I had a lot of flies and stuff around me, to actually gauge where the hell I was. I couldn't judge where I was picking up items or anything, and yeah. Oh, for frig's sake. Oh, fucking hell! So, it, it can be bad to be too small. As you can see, being small does nothing to uh, avoid you getting damage. In theory it does, but it doesn't really. I've got no keys and I need some keys. Where are my keys? I've lost my fucking keys. Jesus Christ. I answered the door of the postman the other day, and well, I went to answer the door. I realised the door was locked. I'd left me keys upstairs. And I shouted really loud, oh, I've left me fucking keys upstairs! And then uh, you could hear him laughing on the other side of the door. But he waited for me, and I, I got me parcel. Oh, for frig's sake! Challenger. You know a box? You could have had a key in it. You could have replaced the key you took. I hate these nights. Or I hate any enemy in any game that you can only hook from a certain angle and they never let you hit it. That was a big thing in the uh, the Looney Tunes games, Bugs Bunny, Lost in Time, Bugs Bunny and Taz and all that. There were some enemies that you had to get behind them and kick them up the arse. It was the only way you could do damage. hate red poos. To be fair, I don't think anyone enjoys red poos. In real life or in Isaac. And another familiar. Very nice. <sighs> infested. Yes, infested. really like the infested pills. They are useful. It's very handy to be surrounded by a vast amount of flies and spiders. What I don't get is why your spiders don't attempt to eat your flies. Because logically, they would. Is it video game logic? For frig's sake! One assumes that it must be. Hmm, I could have sworn it was there. Uh, I know where it could be. I'm usually quite good at finding the secret rooms. Pointless rooms. <laughs> yes, it's nice to have a room with a break from the enemies for a change, for fuck's sake. But no, I'd rather it was a bit more interesting. Oh, come on!
I uh, can't find the secret rooms. Stop pointing your big chest vaginas at me. I'm not in the mood. I wonder if anyone has ever been born with a vagina where it shouldn't be. Like, maybe not on the chest, but maybe like on the thigh or something. Maybe a bit off kilter to where it should be normally. I'm going to have to Google that. But that's going to be a weird Google search, isn't it? Off killed her vaginas. Maybe phrase it a little differently. Oh, it's about friggin' time. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, steam cell. You are forgiven. Momentarily. not really much I want to buy. Always buy the cards, but you've given me a bit of a shite one. I don't know where the other secret room is. Whoa. Good God, y'all. What is he good for? He's good for absolutely nothing. He's probably the easiest out of all of the four horsemen to kill. Especially when he falls off his horse. Ah, finally, I have got an angel room. Let's fight the angel, because why not? And if I can get both key pieces, I'm definitely going to try and fight Mega Satan. Again, because why not? I don't know the difference between the two angels because there's Gabriel and uh, Uriel. So there's one that's blue and one that's red. I don't know the difference between them. I know they've got different attack patterns. One attacks in straight lines and one attacks on diagonal lines. Again, that doesn't solve the issue of I don't know which is which. Not that it matters. Jesus Christ. What have I told you, dickheads, about waving your big chest vaginas? Hello, chub. What you doing, mate? Aside from standing in my way of a treasure room. Not wasting my bombs on him. Because I may need them. Oh, for frig's sake. Uh, uh, no, definitely not fucking picking that up. Worst item in the game the Duds Cap. Avoid it like the fucking plague if you know what's good for you. Worst item ever. Yeah. 
heed my warning. Pick it up for your collection and never touch it again. To be fair though, if you were this far through a playthrough, I'd fucking avoid it anyway. Try and get it on another playthrough. Because it can just ruin your day. It can ruin your playthrough. It can ruin your day. It can ruin your life. It can ruin the life of those around you. It is the worst. There it is. Oh, for God's sake. Fuck greed last time. When I look for sanctuary in a secret room, I don't expect to be greeted with bosses. Like in the uh, extra modes in Resident Evil when they start putting zombies and hunters and shit in the save rooms. Honestly, you feel completely betrayed because it goes against everything you've ever thought about Resident Evil. You open the door and you think, hmm, it'll be safe in here. Nope. And while we're on the subject, why the fuck did they get rid of item boxes in Resident Evil Zero? It took me bloody ages to figure out that you just had to leave the items on the floor. Oh, God's sake. That pissed me off more because I felt like I was just making the place untidy. I'd go back into another room and see something shiny and be like, ooh, new item. No, it was a fucking item I left there the last time I was in here. Oh, I'm really losing the little love here. Fucking hell. I'm yet to find a trinket that can replace me lovely coin. Uh, the tick, I guess. I'd replace it with the tick. And I suppose I'd replace it once I hit 99 coins and it was pointless collecting anymore. For the time being, I like me some coins. Yeah, no. Explosive. Great, just locked me in a tiny little shitty room full of fucking bombs. Anything useful in here? Oh, hell yes! <laughs> I was gonna say, if I'm stood here for ages trying to get the scatol, I'll just skip the video forward, but no, I got it on my first go. That is skanky. I'm not injuring myself to go in the boss challenge room, that can piss off. Oh, I love that. And I love that. And I love that. And that. And that. I didn't really want that. I suppose I love that as well. I will buy out all of your merchandise. Leave the pill behind because it's a bit shite. Hello, mother. Your mom is on the top of my things to do list. Oh, 
She'll pick up the Polaroid. Oh, we'll definitely pick up the Sacred Heart. <laughs> 